Say he's a real coward. Because you know, just like I know who shot you. But you was too busy chasing a thought. Too busy chasing a thought and look where it got you. Going to prison, you don't know how to fight. Ain't no guns in there, you don't know how to make no knife. A father's understandable anger aimed at this man sitting just feet away, Raphael Hearn, who prosecutors say was so bent on getting back at Kenneth French that he hatched a plan that ended with French's two-year-old daughter, Kamaya, being killed after a savage gunshot wound to the head. Do yourself a favor, nigga, and do yourself. Because the world's not going to miss you. Don't nobody care about you. Don't nobody... Sad reason. First cowards in custody, um, anybody that uh, feels that they can execute a child in the state of Michigan, we're going to go after with everything that we can. The, tar the child was the intended target, and that's what the torture charge was for, was because what his thought process was, was that he was going to kill the child in front of this guy and then kill him afterwards. So that will be the last thing he sees. Um, we're not going to tolerate that. So if you was wondering the part that I blanked out, he basically told him at the sentencing, when he was able to give a statement, he told him to off himself. That's one of the craziest um, <clears throat> citizen statements that I ever heard, really. I mean, I can understand his uh, his anger and his frustration. This is a crazy, crazy situation. This is a crime that rocked the world when it happened. I remember being incarcerated when I heard about it. I remember them having to put them boys in protective custody. That's the red jumpsuits. Usually you get the green for the new side. or the, uh, At that time, you get the green for the new side and a yellow for the old side. And then you get the red for protective custody. I mean, you in that room all day, you walking around with shackles on, so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, guys was understandably upset with the situation. I'm going to read y'all a little bit from this guy's appeal. And this happened in Inkster, Michigan. If you don't know what Inkster, Michigan is, it's around. It's a suburb surrounded um, by, well, it's not a suburb really, but it, it, I guess it's a, you, you can consider it that. But it's surrounded by very good suburbs like Garden City, uh, low crime, nice area, nice houses, um, uh, Canton, Rumblers, not too bad, Westlands, so on and so forth. But it, it's it's a baby Detroit, and it has one of the highest crime rates for one of the smallest cities in the country, for sure, for sure. Got a lot of infamous legends out there. You got, you know, Inktown Meats, you got uh, T. Dot Pringle. Um, it was a guy there named Blay. He he, an Inkster legend. Michael Wade, man from out there. So just an infamous line of, uh, of people that got a reputation in the street. I'm just not talking about the perplexity for violence. I'm just talking about money getters and, and flashy, you know, guys, rappers and so on and so forth. You dig what I'm talking about? And um, I'm, I'm going to read you a little bit from, from this situation so y'all can understand it a little bit clearly. So this is a little bit of the appeal and just a little bit of overview, man. Uh, defendants Raymond Bernard Jackson. And Raphael Daniel Jordan Hearn were tried. They got some long names. By one jury. Jackson was found guilty of first degree uh, premeditated murder of Camille Gross. That's or Gross. That's the two year old girl. Torture. Two counts of assault with intent to commit murder of Kenneth French. That's the father. And uh, Chelsea Lancaster. That's the little girl's um, uh, cousin, which was 12 years old. Um, Hearn was found guilty as an aider and a better of first degree premeditated murder of Kamaya, two counts of assault with intent to commit um, murder of French and Chelsea and a felony firearm. Defendants plotted revenge again uh, against French and his family for French's role in shooting of Hearn three months earlier at a motorcycle club. Um, on July 1st, 2014, defendants located French at Ho's house where French's two-year-old daughter, Kamaya, was playing outside with Ho's 12-year-old daughter, Chelsea. French and Ho were sitting on the front porch while the children played. Defendants first drove past the house in a white vehicle and then drove behind the house and stopped. Defendant Jackson got out of the vehicle and after approaching French from the side of Ho's house, started shooting Kamaya. Chelsea and French were shot. Jackson then returned to a waiting vehicle and was driven away from the crime scene. Camille died from gunshot wounds to the head. Chelsea and French were hospitalized for multiple gunshot wounds. Hearns, in a motion, argued that he was not present during the shooting, but even if he was present, he did not aid or abet the crimes. Thus, the defense was so antagonistic that they could not be uh, believed. And he believed that they needed a separate trial. Uh, rather, in some ways, they were complementary both defendants argued that the prosecutor's theory that they plotted for revenge against French's uh, daughter was far-fetched and undocumented. Here, defendants were longtime friends. After Hearn was shot in 2014, they exchanged text messages about the incident and plotted retaliation. Um, 
Jackson argues that the omission of lyrics for a rap song Homicide and evidence that defendants listened to and discussed it was not relevant and any probative value was substantially outweighed by the danger of unfair prejudice. Uh, the courts disagree. French testified that he was in charge of security at a, a motorcycle club on the night that Hearn was shot and Hearn was angry at French for failing to shoot the man who shot him. Now, if that's true, that's some crazy foul stuff, man. Like, this dude's supposed to protect you and so on and so forth. Now, it's, this is not alleged that they did it. But, you know, this is not alleged that, that this crime happened. The tension is alleged, right? So, let's make that clear. But this, this is some tragic, crazy event. Oh, it get crazier than this. Not just the Inkster, but the whole murder meeting. It get crazier than this. This is nothing compared to... You know, babies in a... I'm not even going to go there, man. I, we need the monetization for the channel, man. I, but I'm going to drop some of them stories. And, it, and it'll shock you. But this right here had the nation crazy, man. Peace.